WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, good morning, boys and girls. I hope everything is good in your life as it is in mine. Other people in the world not having such a good time, but uh, this is the time of the year that we want to be helping them. Big day today in stocks, folks, and I'll tell you why. Uh, most of the markets, again, are sharply lower with the exception of gold, which is just about unchanged. And also the meat market uh, is uh, up a little bit. Mainly because of the you know holiday season, more people eat uh, meat than any other time of the year. But uh, the main thing that's happened here is that we have given back all of the gains that we made between Thursday and Friday when we had those tremendous up days in the stock market. When Pre uh, Chairman Powell said that everything was uh, copacetic and just looking great, and now the copacetic is not looking that great. Uh, we're down quite a bit today. We're down over 125 handles now in the S&P, trading down there around 39.45. Uh, uh, and I'll be covering that on my show where I think it is going to go. But some big things are happening. The currencies are still weakening. Euro is still dropping. The Canadian, the uh, uh, British pound is still dropping. And the Treasury bonds, uh, believe it or not, are still trying to rally. Uh, not much, but they still are trying. I don't think it'll last very long. But the big one, of course, today to pay attention to is the crude oil. And the crude oil, you know, we had a big sell signal up there the other day that I was a little bit late on. But it's breaking hard now, folks. And this is really important because it's contra-seasonal. You know, crude oil, heating oil, gasoline, all that stuff should be going up. I know it's a warmer winter than expected. Well, that's this is not winter yet, folks. Winter doesn't start for two weeks. So this is very, very unusual. So the fact is that the U.S. dollars held those key levels that we pointed out to you yesterday is a big thing. So we're going to have more volatility in 2023 than in any market, any year that we've had over the last 10 years is my prediction. I think we'll have that much volatility. That means up and down. And that's why pattern recognition can be very, very helpful. So let's uh, keep that in mind as we look at some of these things. So stay tuned. I'll be right back with 24-7, and we'll be having a really good time today. Our guest is none other than Norm Winsky from Naples, Florida. We'll be right back. <laughs> 